What? Melissa, who do you accuse? It was Professor Plum in the hall with the revolver. Liar! We all heard it. that gun go off, Professor. And I found your stupid tobacco pipe when we were searching the house. Where did you drop it, huh? While scoping out the best vantage point to kill your next victim. I bet that poor singing telegram girl was an old patient of yours, right? I've never seen that girl before in my life. It, it, it wasn't me. Well, the revolver is missing. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Ladies, empty your purses. Whoever has the gun is the murderer. <gasps> well done, Wadsworth. You'll never be able to prove anything if you're all dead. That's maybe so, Professor Plum. But if we're alive, officers, there's your man. Well done, Wadsworth. Well, that's what I just said. Yeah, well, I'm saying it now. Handcuffs, chief of police. And Professor Plum, you're coming with me. But wait, that's not how it happened. It happened like this. Well, we're listening, Professor Plum. Who do you accuse? It was Colonel Mustard in the lounge with the wrench. I never lounge. I found your medal of honor in the lounge where the motorist was killed by a wrench to the head, and that wrench belonged to you. Liar! Well, the wrench is missing. Ladies, empty your purses. Gentlemen, turn out your pockets. Whoever has the wrench is the murderer. <gasps> well done, Wadsworth. Officers, there's your man. Not a kernel of the truth in him. Well done, Wadsworth. Well, that's what I just said. Yeah, well, I'm saying it now. Guilty verdict, chief of police. And Colonel Mustard, you're coming with me. You have it all wrong. That's not how it happened. It happened like this. All right, Colonel. We are listening. Who do you accuse? It was Mrs. White in the billiard room with the rope. I'd rather die. I found your veil in the billiard room, and I saw how you cringed and I went and served you dinner. Yes, it's true. I knew of that. She had a torn love affair with my late husband. I hated her. I hated her so much. The flames, flames from the side of my face, breathing, heaving breaths. Just because I hated her does not mean I killed her. Well, the rope is missing. Ladies, turn out your purses. Gentlemen. <gasps> well done, Wadsworth. Well done, Wadsworth. Hey, without a without, without, that's what I just said. Yeah, well, I'm saying it now. Mark my words, Chief of Police. And Mrs. White, it happened like this. <laughs> It was Mrs. Peacock in the dining hall with a dagger. I found your feather by the corpse. Well, the dagger is missing. Now, ladies, empty your purses. <gasps> well, well done, done, Wadsworth. That's, that's what I just said. said. Yeah, well, I'm saying it now. That's not how it happened. It, it happened, happened like this. this. It was Miss Scarlet in the library with the candlestick. Maxine, Mom! You can't do this to me! Frankly, Miss Scarlet, I don't give a damn. But I know how it really happens. You do? You do? It happened like this. Freeze! Nobody move! You're all killers! You can't prove anything, Mr. Wadsworth! I'm not Mr. Wadsworth. I'm Mr. Body. But how, how can you be Mr. Body? Mr. Body's body blood all over me. It wasn't Mr. Body's body was, was bleeding on you, now was it? But if body wasn't body, then who was it? He was Wadsworth, my butler. But if you're the real Mr. Body, then what was the point in dragging all this out? Well, you see, when you all started murdering people, I decided to uh, roll the dice. See if you'd all self-implode and kill off my entire network of spies and informers, which you all did, splendidly, by the way, leaving your fingerprints on every glass, doorknob, and, well, Dead body. Now I've got you all on the hook for murder. Murder? You see, bribery for petty crimes is one thing, but now murder. That could get expensive. But why this whole charade? The searching of the house, the retracing our steps? Well, see, I'm relaxed now. Now that there's no evidence left against me, <laughs> I've gone off scot-free. But the police are on their way. You're never going to get away with this. <laughs>
<laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> no, it's funny. Had they? They were never on their way. <laughs> now listen up, you reprobates. We're gonna stack the bodies in the cellar, leave Body Manor one at a time, and forget that any of this ever happens. I can't forget all this! With murder on the menu, the price of blackmail just tripled. Forgotten. <clears throat> now move! Wait a minute! We could all rush him! He's got no more bullets left than that gun. Oh, please. You don't think I'm gonna fall for that old trick. It's not a trick. There was one shot of Mr. Body in the study, two at the lounge door, two at the chandelier, one for the same telegram. No, that's not six. One plus two plus two plus one. No, there was only one shot. At, right, yes. No, yes. There was only one shot. One, one, two, three. Yes, there was only one shot at the chandelier. That's one plus two plus one plus two plus one. Even if you were right, that'd be one plus two plus one plus two. Oh. Plus one. Okay. Okay, yes. Fine. One plus two plus... Shut up! Point is, there is one bullet left in this gun. And anybody who moves is gonna get it. So, basically, you're just gonna keep on blackmailing us and we're all supposed to pretend this never happened? Yes. Why not? Oh, well. I'll tell you why not. FBI! The jig is up! Ha! <laughs> or is it? Miss me. You're FBI? Barely. I'm a dead ringer for Greg. He got a letter just like each and every one I get tonight. But he came to the bureau to ask for help. I took his place tonight so that we could have a sting operation. Some sting, six people died on your watch. Well, I, I, I usually just work the desk. My beat is property crime. You know, theft, fraud. That's why I was so tickled when the real Mr. Wadsworth risked his neck to drop off a whole briefcase worth of evidence last night. You've had the evidence this whole time? It's all right here. Let's see. Mm. Would you look at this? Miss Scarlett's books, including names of customers and employees. And just find why she wouldn't kill that cop. And would you look at that? He was right here on her payroll. Give me that! Ooh, and a love letter. I trust our professor Plum. That's private property. Ooh. That singing telegram girl was teenage daughter of the head of the you know who. Who then want to come clean to daddy? Who then want to clean out Professor Plum? So you killed her. Now listen here. Ah ah ah. And these natives, girl. <laughs> Hold on. And these natives, song. And these negatives! <sighs> They're gonna trust me. You were quite the regular at Miss Scarlet's establishment. Bet you can be a real colonel anymore if that motorist head from your general where he drives you on Tuesday evenings. I just wanted somebody to talk with! Try spin soup indeed, Miss Peacock. Too bad your old cook couldn't keep quiet. If only she hadn't blabbed about your priorities, then you wouldn't have killed her. Just, just before joining us outside the billiard room. Now we know what really took you so long. Circumstantial evidence will never hold up in the court of law. No, but this notarized record from the cook will. And Mrs. White. Now you weren't lying, were you? You really did hate the event. The flames on the side of my- All right, all right, we, we get it. Here's a container full of fingerprints found in scenes of your previous murders. I never murdered my husband. Fingerprints, I'm sure the FBI will be able to match those found of the noose tied around your bed's neck. I wore gloves. <laughs> you mean those? And last but not least, Mr. Bobby Body. It's Robert. Now, you didn't hit your bed at all, did you? What's it to you? 
It was a green card love affair, is the icing on the cake of this FBI file. An FBI file on the whole body business. Your butler, the real Mr. Wadsworth, has been feeding us information for months. Talk about a real American. He was British. Well, it, well you know what I mean. I see why you want to kill him. Twice. Your shot missed him in the study, but he's wisely played dead. And it wasn't until you caught him trying to escape that you bludgeoned him to death with the lead pipe I had dropped on my way to the dining room. <clears throat> I mean, really. Who dropped some murder weapon? I did it! <sighs> no more face on there, it's okay. The body family business has been wanted for organized crime for generations, but have somehow always eluded the law. Until now. Tonight, the body business has reached a dead end. You leave my family out of this! Oh, oh who would have known the bullets were hurt so much? Don't you dare. Colonel, 